So hi everyone, it's Tina at Phenomenal Beauty. So today I'm going to be talking about a product that I've been enjoying for the last month or so. Um, it's the Hourglass Ambient Blush Palette. So there is the actual packaging. Now I picked this up online from Sephora and had it shipped here via the mail forwarder at US. I'll put all those package details down below. Uh, but it's now out at Mickey Cosmetica in Australia for 76 uh, AU. That's there. Now, the pricing has sort of come down from Hourglass. I know the original palette or the ambient lighting powder palette was $85 Australian, now it's $76. Obviously, still an expensive product, but I want to go over what I see uh, the pros and the cons of this particular palette, and I'll swatch everything. Let's open the actual palette. Now, that, as I said, is the packaging. Very simple. I know with the original palette, there was a bigger package that sort of had that impact as a gift box, but this is still very pretty. I'm not sure if they've changed the other packaging, but there is the actual palette. It's got that gold, very reflective uh, surface, and then the size and everything is exactly the same as the um, powder palette. But obviously that's all chocolate in line with all the powder packaging and all of the blushes are that gold. I mean, I do prefer the gold packaging. It doesn't seem, it still marks and shows all the smudges as does the chocolate, but it seems to show up a little bit more on the darker packaging. Anyway, the actual sizes of the blushes aren't too far off the uh, full size ones, the full size ones are 4.2 grams as opposed to 3.3 grams in the actual palette. Whereas obviously the sizing difference between the powders and the palette um, is quite a bit. These are 10 grams like, as opposed to the 3.3. Anyway, opening it up, it does have that generous size mirror just like the other palette. So there, so it's good for travel and then up close. Uh, as with the full size powders, it is that marbled, well, marble look, that baked powder. So each blush will be different, or will have a different, I suppose, patterning to it, but also the ratio. As you can see in mine, these two on the ends have almost more powder than blush, whereas the one in the middle has quite a lot of the blush, which I'm very happy with. Now, going over what's in here, we have the Luminous Flush blush. <laughs> then we have the Incandescent Electra. That's the one that's exclusive to the palette. And then we have Mood Exposure. Now, I do have uh, these two, the standard ones, uh, in the actual blushes. I'll put a link down below. I did a, a full review and comparison and swatch to the powders versus the blushes. But the main difference uh, is in the actual powder palette, although there is the uh, one exclusive to the palette, it has the incandescent light, and then hence in the actual blush palette it has incandescent electra, so it's the relative blush. The two powders in here are different to the ones that are in the blush palette. So we've got um, dim light, radiant light uh, in there. Whereas in here, mixed in with the blushes, we have Luminous and Mood, which are two different powders. For me, it's great because uh, Mood Exposure, which is the blush, is my favorite one. But if we jump quickly and have a look at the actual blush, the one I have in the full size is quite a bit different with the patterning. As you can see, I've got more blush say mood or the first word is the actual powder mood and then exposure the second word is going to be the actual blush so it's basically mood powder exposure blush so there you can see it's quite a bit different for me i actually found it as a bonus because since i have all of the actual powders and blushes i can use this to travel with and i can actually get my brush in there and use it as uh, a setting powder or a highlight just the mood which is actually like a pink or a pale pink lavender powder um, same with the uh, Luminous Flush. I already have that uh, in a full size. You can see here. It's actually quite similar. Like I sort of have half and half. But the same thing is I can try and get my brush in there and get the powder or the blush or mix it around and get both. Now they are actually subtle because I don't have a lot of the actual blush in here. I get more of a subtle finish to the actual 
blush so it's not as pigmented um, whereas this one you can see I've got quite a lot of that sort of plum it's like a soft plum you can get more of it let me just swatch it wipe my hands clean and you sort of swirl it around to get the color it's a beautiful beautiful soft plum and it gets quite a bit of pigmentation on my skin. It actually suits my, or oh, I think my skin tone quite well. The other one that's quite vibrant in the blushes is Radiant Magenta. I don't have it down here, but it's more like a pinky purple blush with the um, Radiant Powder. Um, whereas the one in the palette, you can see I don't get a lot of the actual mood blush so you can see it's quite a, quite a different thing so that's that's probably a con for some people some people might buy it they don't have the mood exposure uh, blush separately so this is probably the only way they're going to get the actual palette because they think oh it's great I can get three blushes but it's probably going to be a little bit different obviously you can get a uh, like a finer brush get in there and just try and um, swipe the actual mood blush but uh, my, me I actually did really really well I think I mean same thing I just ordered it online I didn't see it in store let's swatch this one this is the uh, exclusive one to the palette and again it's incandescent Electra the cool peach my finger very nice you would never use as much as I'm using on here to get the swatch I just want to show you what they look like so there it is there depending again on your skin tone it might look more pink or it might look more peach and that's luminous light so that one's much more pink so luminous light from the actual palette as opposed to the Electra one I apologize my son's sort of wee throwing things around my curb producer but yeah let's get up close so again that one's like a soft plum and the actual palette is the pale pink this one which is a luminous it's described as a champagne pearl which is the actual um, powder it's like a candlelight sort of finish to the skin or how hourglass describes it and then the one in the middle is like a cool peach definitely a cool peach I really really love this it's a beautiful soft peach on my skin so it's not that really bright you know the bright orangey sort of peach and the actual powder is described as an opalescent pearl now, Another pro for me is that I love the powders anywhere I literally use either or one of the ambient lighting powders or one of the blushes every day now I don't just use them as a blush or a my overall setting powder um, the powders I can use them for um, eyeshadows like the blushes or I can use them for highlighters the powders I can use them as a setting powder or an overall finishing powder there's a lot of different ways I've actually found to use them now I don't have very sensitive skin so I haven't had any issues with the powders or the blushes wherever I have used them on my face and this one is a luminous light this is the one that's in the new blush palette but of course mixed with the uh, blush or sparkle radiant uh, light is much more I'd say it gives a much more sort of shimmer to it again probably the wrong sort of word for it uh, but it's sort of uh, warmer and it's more something that you could maybe complement your tan with you can use it on your decolletage you can use it as a highlight on your cheek lots of different ways you can use them or even if you have maybe a matte bronzer and you decide oh I'm going to use, I, I would like that sort of uh, radiance or that sort of sheen to it you can use some of these powders for that I, I would like either luminous or radiant um, powder with brushes though I made the mistake when I first started using the powders because they're very very soft and you get quite a lot of product with them I was using not this one but a very fine tapered brush with it and I literally just hacked the powders uh, let me just show you mood this one has a big dip in the middle what I do suggest is you can get maybe more of a, a fluffier brush or um, you know, something like this or kabuki or even a flatter one where you can sort of get around the powder but you just really go very very lightly with the the, the standard powders but they sort of tend to puff up everywhere so you just need a little bit same thing with the blushes they gain they're quite soft but I'm not saying you're going to get a whole heap of pigmentation with it again it's going to depend on that ratio of product let me just get a brush and see I'll show this just a Ray Morris one I'm going to do the incandescent electro and I but you can get quite a bit off on there and I'll just but they kind of shear out a little bit because again you're mixing it with 
the ambient lighting powder. So, so for me it's great, um, and, or even if you just have both palettes, it's a great way to try the different powders. Like I said, the only powder or lighting powder that carries over into this palette is incandescent. So it's mixed in with the Electra blush, but you've got Luminous and Mood in the blush palette and dim and radiant uh, in the standard powder palette so you get a way to try a couple of the powders there's, there's still two missing out of the standard ones there is what's the one that's missing etherol and i can't remember what the other one off the top of my head is so there's i'm just wondering if they're going to bring out another um palette i do i do love the palette for me it's great like i said because of the mix of powders Again, it's like a jackpot um, sort of thing or a lottery, what sort of ratio you're going to end up with. I suppose it would help if you can actually get to a store um, and have a look, swatch them, see if you like them in the first place. And then obviously, if the sales assistant is kind enough to open up the palette, I, I don't know how you'll go with that, but it's worth, it's worth asking. Um, but like, I think a great little gift, like I said, the blushes uh 4.2 full size whereas opposed to in the palette they're 3.3 so it's not a huge amount of difference which i think is quite good um again with the powders though they're 10 grams as opposed to um what, what you can get in the actual palettes obviously some people might prefer it a little bit smaller for travel but i i still think it's quite a compact size either of the palettes you know you can sort of slip them in somewhere um, I've actually dropped this. I dropped this the second day that I have it and it didn't crack though, which is really, really good. Although I do notice you can sort of see the bottom of the, the tray in here for some reason. So I think maybe when they've put them in, um, it's sort of, sort of shifted. So yeah. Whereas in this one, it looks really well made. Like if you, you can't see the bottom of the, the palette underneath. They're all sitting in um, nicely, but like I said, this one's a slightly different, but that was when I got it, it was just like that. But I'm, I'm glad they're not so loose or so fine that when I dropped it, that it just cracked. So that was a relief and generous size mirror. Um, it's a nice little clasp sort of thing as, as well. Oh dear. Which is nice. Hasn't worn, I've had this for a while. This hasn't worn, I um, mean, you know, it's like some palettes the little clasp just sort of breaks over time it's good does smudge though like i said the writing on it's slightly different this matches the hourglass um, powders and this matches the the blushes oh gosh sorry it's so reflective well but it's just plastic though but i like you know a lot of some palettes out there just cardboard <laughs> they're just cardboard this is a nice plastic with that sort of metallic look to it and the other ones are tin in there but this is still quite quite sturdy to travel with um, as well so of course if you have gotten it or if you have any other blushes let me know your feedback and thoughts down below um, on those and how you use it like I said I like the blushes too for eyeshadow but I don't have particularly sensitive eyes but I do wear contacts and I've never had any um, irritation on that same thing I can use them as highlights blushes setting powders um, but I still, when I do work with them as a setting or a finishing powder, I do like to spray. Um, it doesn't have to just be water, but you know, any sort of setting spray over the top to help it sort of blend into the skin. I don't have a particularly, I don't ever get like a very cakey finish with them, uh, but I don't use a whole heap. If I want to really get a lot of pigmentation with the blush, I will have to work at it or try and get a section that has more um, of the blush as opposed to the powder. But no, still very, very nice if that's your sort of thing. So, and of course, like I said, there's other blushes as well in the range. Uh, but yeah, as far as the finishes, I mean, they do say like you get a glim like a candlelight glimmer or incandescent light and all that. I think even what they call them, photoluminescence or something into them. I, all I know is that they do create a nice sheen to the skin. It's going to really depend on which powder you're using as opposed to your skin tone and how it's going to work and where you are. Like you're going out during the day, you're getting in flash photography. Or, or whatever but I find or I can get all of them to work quite well and I actually layer some of them some days I might do dim and mood I might do if I really want a lot of sheen luminous and radiant you know like something like more sort of bronzy sort of look but I want something quite cool um might be ethereal 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 um as well so it really depends on what I want to achieve so anyway I hope you liked um, my sort of little overview of it do love it like I said though just be wary of the mix of the, the powders I think I did quite well um, and yep thank you